Nancy Auer from Michigan Tech University, and I work in the Department of Biological Sciences. I'm working with Robert Handler on an aquaponics project here in our greenhouse system, and we're growing all kinds of vegetables and other products, some herbs, a lot of basil, so it smells wonderful in here. This project was designed as a pilot project to see if we could actually put this system together using natural sunlight and the temperatures in this facility so that we don't have to really count on much except some water to run this whole system. As you can see, we have a lot of basil and cucumbers, cabbage, beets. We've really been successful in growing a lot of these and our fish are growing as well. Hopefully by fall we'll have some edible sized tilapia. These have been growing since about mid, I think we started the system in about mid-March and so it took a while to adjust the water system and so finally I think uh, Robert had some plants starting to seed and grow by early June. So these have really come along even within the last month. Hey, I'm Robert Handler. I work at the Sustainable Futures Institute at Michigan Tech and Dr. Nancy Auer and I are partnering on an aquaponics project here in the ninth floor of the Dow building. And aquaponics is sort of a mishmash of two words. Uh, hydroponics, which is growing plants without soil, uh, in our case, in this gravel-based media that you see here, and aquaculture, which is growing fish, um, in this case in a recirculating system. So when we combine hydroponics and aquaculture, we get sort of a mutually beneficial self-contained system where fish water contains lots of nutrients put out by the fish uh, that the plants love to use as fertilizer. So fish water is routed through these plant growing beds. Uh, plants take up the nutrients and grow quite well as you can see. Um, we're growing a variety of uh, plants, basil, cucumbers, broccoli, bok choy, peppers, just to start. Uh, and clean water with all the nutrients removed is returned to the fish tank so the fish get to live in a pretty happy environment. Um, inputs are fish food and light and a little bit of electricity to run the one pump that drives the entire system. Um, and in return for that we get sort of two main products. We get the produce that you see here and also hopefully some fish. 